Indiana's top disaster agency is now facing a lawsuit tonight for allegedly retaliating in a sexual harassment case. 13 Investigates broke the story of sexual harassment against a high-ranking leader at the Department of Homeland Security last year amid claims of retaliation. Tonight, our Sandra Chapman is back with more on the, on the employee who reported those allegations and demands to get his job back. Uh, shocked, angry. Uh, upset. Robert Johnson um, now wants his job back. In this seven-page lawsuit filed against the state and the Department of Homeland Security, the former assistant fire marshal says he was intentionally terminated in retaliation for reporting sex harassment. Johnson spoke to 13 Investigates a year ago after several employees raised concerns about a culture of sexual harassment at DHS. Complaints about questionable emails, crude jokes, and vulgar conversations. You have the click, the good old boy system. There's things that would happen that would make you go, hmm. Barbara Goble was there when a group of temporary workers complained about inappropriate conversations by Code Enforcement Section Chief David Smith. Sources told 13 Investigates the women were afraid to report the allegations to Fire Marshal Jim Greeson because Smith was a member of the executive staff and Greeson's friend. Instead, the women informed Johnson they were being sexually harassed by their supervisor, Smith. In the lawsuit, Johnson says he took the claims to Greeson, but says the fire marshal did nothing with the information, never had an investigation opened, and did not report the sex harassment to human resources. So Johnson made the report himself. And Smith was fired. But two weeks later, Johnson was told the money for his position as assistant marshal was being repurposed. Now, Johnson is asking to return to his position and for back pay. He says the money for the assistant marshal was never repurposed and that he had no performance issues. Neither side had any comment on the case. Back to you.